Hi, this is Anil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning light on C++ programming. So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to pass the parameter to the base class constructors and also how to call the base class constructors in the derived class. So let's begin. So just for the demonstration purpose in this tutorial, I'm going to create a class and let's call it as father and here as a protected member, let's have an integer height and uh, then we're going to create the constructor so it's going to be a public constructor and uh, it's going to be father you know the same name as the class name here this father is going to take an integer value and uh, that value will be stored in this height so it's going to be int and h so here inside this constructor first we're going to say constructor of father is called and let's end this line and then we're going to store that value received to this variable h in this height so it's going to be height equal to h all right now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a child class let's call it as child and this child class will be inheriting from this father class so it's going to be father so now in this child class we're gonna call the constructor of this base class father so we're gonna have a child class constructor so it's gonna be child and then you know this child class constructor is gonna take a parameter so let's say an integer value it's gonna be int and let's call it as x and then to call the base class constructor we need to use the colon here and then the base class name which is father and then the parameter to that so here what i want to do is i want to pass the value received to this child class constructor to this base class constructor so here i can do that by referring to this variable x so x here that's it so when this statement will be executed you know the c plus plus will come to know that okay whatever the parameter that i'm gonna receive as a construct a parameter to this child class you know i'm gonna pass that to the base class so the c plus plus is gonna call the base class constructor and it's gonna pass the value of this variable x to it so then if you want to define the body of your child class constructor you guys can do that so here we're gonna say child class constructor and uh, let's end this line and the next uh, thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna build another method and let's call it as display and this method is going to display the value of this uh, member height so it's going to be c out height is and then i'm going to refer height which is available in this child class that's because you know it is protected member so now i'm going to create an object of this child class so in my main function it's gonna be child and let's call it as anil and we need to pass a parameter that's because you know we have only one constructor here and uh, it's gonna take an integer value let's say 24 and after that i'm gonna call anil dot display and uh, save this program build and run this hopefully we don't have any error all right now you guys can see you know when we create an object of this child class and we pass the value what happens all of us know that the constructor of the base class will be called first so the c plus plus is gonna take the value here in this child class constructor and then it's gonna call the base class constructor and pass the value and that's why this 24 is passed to this father constructor and it is stored in this member height and it just printed you know the constructor of the father is called and after that the body of the child class constructor is executed and that's why we get child class constructor and then because of the display function we get height is 24 so here what we have done is we have passed the value to this base class constructor if you don't want to pass the value you guys can uh, skip that so here i'm not gonna initialize this height here so i'm gonna leave it and uh, we're not gonna pass the value but in this child class we're gonna initialize this member height so it's gonna be height equal to x here and uh, now if i save this okay don't make any spelling mistake and now if i save this program and run it build and run you know i'll get the same thing all right you guys can see constructor of the father is called child class constructor and height is 24 so 
now we have learned you know how to call the base class constructor in the derived class constructor and also how to pass the value to the base class constructor in the derived class constructor the next thing that i want you guys to teach you is you know what if we have the multiple inheritance what if we have another class here let's copy that for the class and paste it in the next line and uh, we're gonna change this one to mother and let's include the string header file so it's gonna be hash include and string all right now we're gonna have a string member here in this mother class let's say string um, skin color and uh, we're gonna call this constructor mother and uh, all right then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two values in this tail class and let's say string color Okay, now let's say this child class is inheriting from this mother class also so let's say let's make it public inheritance so public father comma public mother all right now this child class is inheriting from two classes so the child class constructor is taking two parameters and here we need to call the constructor both the base classes so here I'm gonna add a comma and then I'm gonna call the constructor of mother and uh, that's it and now it's gonna call the constructor of this base class mother also and then we're gonna store the value in this string skin color so it's gonna be skin color equal to and uh, equal to color and uh, here we need to change this one to mother because it is the mother class constructor and um, age is something and after that um, we're gonna say skin color age and then I'm gonna refer to that so it's gonna be skin color and let's add the stream insertion operator again alright now we have a child class which is inheriting from two base classes and also we have learnt how to call the constructors of the two base classes in the derived class so here when we create an object we need to pass two values so first one is an integer value and second one is an string value so I'm gonna pass let's say white and okay now I'm gonna save this I'm gonna build and run this and hopefully we don't have any error Alright, now you guys can see constructor of father is called, constructor of mother is called and the child class constructor and it says height is 24, skin color is white. Okay, while spelling mistake, no problem. Alright, now if you want to pass the values to this base class constructor, so you guys can do that. You know that I have explained you in the beginning of this tutorial. So this is it guys, this is how you guys can call the constructor of a base class in the derived class and pass parameters to that base class constructor thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial